Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 105. Welcome again to this week's Business Finance Bulletin with me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services. And in this week's episode, business confidence, fuel cards, and also a look at late payment. And in my business finance tip of the week, delegate, don't abdicate. Let's start this week's bulletin by looking at a topic which I think is going to feature very heavily in our bulletins during 2016, and that's the issue of business confidence. Um, I mentioned in Bulletin 104 that there are clear signs that confidence levels amongst business owners are on the wane, and this has been further borne out by two new surveys out this week. Now, the first of them is by Bibby's Financial Services as part of their regular SME confidence tracker reports. And they found out that in the first quarter of 2016, only 36% of businesses say they're expecting to grow. Now, you may think, well, over a third of businesses growing, that's not bad. But when you consider compared to the first quarter of 2014, where 64% of businesses said they were expecting to grow, well, you can see that is a big drop in confidence. Furthermore, of those businesses surveyed, 17% said they expected to see a drop in sales during this first quarter. Now, what about investment? Well, there, only 35% of businesses said they are planning to invest um, during this first quarter. And of those who were planning to invest, they are only going to be putting money into essential business as usual spend. For example, replacing outdated equipment. Now, that is obviously bad news for the UK economy. So the FSB, the Federation for Small Businesses, they've also come out with their first survey of 2016, which again backs up this falling confidence. And their members are saying that issues such as the introduction of a national living wage, um, auto enrolment, um, also the dividend change for limited companies, all of these things put together are putting businesses off. But a little bit of good news comes out of that FSB survey. Um, 57% of businesses said that they were being approved for finance, which is good news. The bit of bad news, though, is only 13% of businesses were deciding to apply for finance, which kind of backs up this lack of investment. So, as you can see, some challenges ahead for you. Do not assume, though, that it affects your industry or your business. Head down, search out for those new clients, search out for those new markets, and make 2016 your best year. Are you a heavy user of fuel? Well, if you are, you're likely to be a haulage company or a distribution company. Now, one of the major financial products which these companies like to use are commercial credit cards. The drivers have cards on the road able to fuel up without having to carry large amounts of cash. But again, typically, businesses in this sector suffered very badly during the recession. And it could be if you're one of these companies, you've got a poor credit record and therefore find it difficult to get hold of a commercial credit card. Well, help is on hand. FuelMate, um, one of the many fuel discounting firms around, has just launched a prepaid credit card. Um, it's called FlexiPay. And how it works is you have the cards, you preload it with cash up front, hand it to your drivers so they don't have to uh, carry cash when they're on the road. It also helps you control spend because they can only spend what's on the card and it keeps record keeping much easier as well. So if you're in this sector and you want to know more about the card and how you can use it in one of their 1,600 partner stations um, across the UK, uh, just go along to their website fuelmate.co.uk and there you'll find more information about that card. Let's move on now to late payment. Now, as we know, late payment is a major barrier to growth, and it's something that the UK government is trying to tackle. Well, a latest survey out from Zurich um, revealed that 53% of businesses say they are suffering from late payment. And all in all, it translates, Zurich reckons, to about £255 million stuck in the UK economy because of late payment. Now, can you imagine what that would do to the UK economy if all that money came flooding out? It would really solve everyone's problems. So what's the breakdown? Well, about 20% of businesses say they are owed more than £25,000. 
8% of them say they are owed more than £100,000. And get this, about 43,000 businesses reckon that they owed more than a million pounds. Ouch, I wouldn't like to be one of those. So all of this, say, stifles growth. So what can you do? Well, as you said before, you've really got to keep on top of your invoices. The whole process doesn't stop after you've issued the invoice. It's a case of he who shouts loudest gets paid. Make sure you've got systems and processes in place so you don't get caught out by late payment, which means you can't grow according to the growth plans that you have. Be on top of your finances. On now to my business finance tip of the week. And it's all around a phrase I heard many years ago, which is delegate, don't abdicate. Now we know we've got lots of tasks on the table and it can be difficult sometimes to prioritize. The, the main way around this is delegate some tasks to people who are better equipped to doing it than you are. But the key thing is don't abdicate responsibility. Delegate it, but don't abdicate by washing your hands of it. Still keep an eye on what's going on. So how does this relate to a finance tip? Well, as you know, I'm a great advocate of getting rid of the bookkeeping in a firm. It's not your job. Get a bookkeeper in, allocate the task to somebody else within the business, delegate it out. But the key thing is don't abdicate responsibility. You still need to keep an oversight of your numbers. So if you do um, pass your bookkeeping on to somebody else, arrange a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly appointment with the person who has the responsibility to keep your books and review the outcomes. Sit down and ask them, what are the numbers telling us? Where are sales going up? Are overheads coming under pressure? Are margins going down? Where should we be saving the money? Where are the warning signs? So the key thing, delegate the task absolutely, but don't abdicate the responsibility. Take a keen interest in your numbers because that's where the profit is. Well, here we are at the end of this week's bulletin. And as ever, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can also get the podcast version available on SoundCloud, iTunes and Stitcher. Um, just go to those channels and search for Business Finance Bulletin. And if you are listening on the podcast, don't forget to give us a rating. It all helps. So that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to being with you again next week when I'll be sharing more news, views and tips on raising finance and dealing with banks. So the next episode, thanks very much. See you soon.